your septic system is basically your private wastewater system. And so you're protecting not only potentially your own drinking water, but your neighbor's drinking water and your community's drinking water. The best way you can take care of your septic field is to make sure you have regular maintenance on your septic tank. In general, industry has been really, really moving forward uh, toward having your system inspected every three to five years. Nationwide and in Colorado, improperly functioning on-site wastewater treatment systems pose a risk to drinking water supplies. We're here to inform you about the regulations associated with on-site wastewater treatment systems, how they function, and most importantly, how to maintain your individual system to protect water quality and the environment. So as far as water quality and the environment, uh, a lot of it has to do with how the regulations are set up. Again, the, the new regulations are basically geared toward wastewater treatment systems. And if the site is properly evaluated, when the engineer goes out to look at the site, the soils are properly evaluated, the design follows the design requirements of the regulation, the installation is done uh, properly per the design, the system is inspected, uh, then it, it comes down to homeowner use and that's, uh, sometimes that's kind of a, a gap in our educational component is educating the homeowner of what they need to do to make a an on-site system function properly. Okay, I think a homeowner that has an on-site wastewater treatment system has many resources available to them. The best place a homeowner can go is simply contact their local environmental health department, typically of the county they live in. By having a conversation with a local county health official, they can more than likely uh, have their records that shows what they have on their site, and a local environmental health official will also be able to get them in contact with a qualified service provider, whether it be a pumper, whether it be an engineer, whether whatever their needs are, and then they can find out all they need to know about their system and how to properly maintain it. Most important thing to know that is if you're going to do work on a septic system, you need to get a permit to do that work. Uh, even minor work, you should at least check with the regulatory entity to make sure that that's not covered under some sort of permit. We just want to make sure that records are really good so that future owners of property um, also have the ability to know where septic system components are. Um, and also, you know, the good records will help you in the sale of your property, um, knowing that it's been maintained uh, frequently and knowing where the components are and things like that, and it's in good standing. Your septic system is basically your private wastewater system, and if every lot in your subdivision has one, that means that every lot is discharging your wastewater into the ground and eventually into the groundwater. And in most of these rural areas, the groundwater is used for drinking water. So our on-site wastewater treatment system, it is removing pathogenic bacteria, it's removing other sources of contamination, and it protects the groundwater. And the groundwater then as part of the uh, water cycle will flow out to surface water and so you're protecting not only potentially your own drinking water but your neighbor's drinking water and your community's drinking water. As a homeowner that has an on-site wastewater treatment system it's very important for them to know several things about the system namely where is it located and where are the components. Today we're at a property located just outside of Carbondale, Colorado. It's a rural area not served by city sewer. We're replacing the on-site wastewater treatment system that previously served this residence. The new components that we'll be looking at today include a septic tank, a distribution box, and gravelous chamber trenches. The sewer line will exit the foundation and a double sweep clean out will be installed within about five feet of the foundation. That allows cleaning each direction if something were to get clogged. The sewer line will run into the inlet side of the septic tank. These risers are used to bring access to the manhole lids to grade, so they're easy to maintain and monitor over time. The sewer line will exit the septic tank and enter the distribution box. Also, there will be an effluent filter on the outlet side of the septic tank. 
The septic tank will be connected to this component, the distribution box. The distribution box has multiple exits, and in this case, there's five trenches. So five of these exits will be used to connect to the soil treatment area. As you can see, there's a baffle in the distribution box that slows the flow out of the septic tank. There are also risers on this component that will bring the lid of the distribution box accessible from grade for inspection and monitoring. The soil treatment area is comprised of gravelous chamber trenches. This is a gravelous chamber. The chambers are installed at the bottom of a level trench, one after the other. At the ends, there are end caps. The pipe from the distribution box will enter the end cap. We will also install inspection ports at both the beginning and end of the trench. And this port will be accessible from grade for access and monitoring. Homeowners be really cognizant of what they put down the toilet, down their drain. One of the things we think that should not happen are additives because your septic system is a biological process and we carry everything that your septic system needs. The best way you can take care of your septic field is to make sure you have regular maintenance on your septic tank, never do anything to put toxics to overload the field, and get that regular tank maintenance. And by all means, when you're maintaining a tank, always think about installing an affluent filter as that good insurance to protect protect anything you don't want going to your field to compromise its function. Effluent filters, I call them an insurance policy for soil treatment areas. Uh, all the accumulation of organic material would basically be on the effluent filter or effluent screen that can be uh, cleaned off when you routinely maintain your septic system every two to five years or so. It, it's a push in the industry right now, not only in Colorado, but nationwide, to increase the professionalism, the education and training of all uh, practitioners in the industry is where we would like to go. Colorado Professionals and On-Site Wastewater is a statewide organization consisting of designers, maintenance providers, regulatory personnel, all with the express purpose of putting on an educational conference, providing public outreach in order to increase our knowledge and awareness and, and practice in the on-site wastewater industry. By working with public water systems throughout Colorado, Colorado Rural Water Association recognized the importance of educating homeowners on how to properly maintain their on-site wastewater treatment systems in order to protect drinking water supplies. Carla Osberg with CBO Inc. and All Service Septic conducted a maintenance demonstration for the West Bank Ranch Homeowners Association, located just outside of the town of Carbondale. Over 50 homeowners and public water system officials attended the demonstration, promoted as a septic system soiree, and learned how on-site wastewater treatment systems function and how to maintain them. Homeowners within a community who know how to properly maintain their individual on-site wastewater treatment systems will lead to a collective stewardship of their drinking water supplies and the environment. So if there was a takeaway message for our on-site wastewater treatment systems, it, it, it relates not only to the homeowners, but the practitioners. So I always say to people, if you're going on to evaluate a site, evaluate it as if you had to design it. If you're gonna design it, design it as, as if you had to install it. If you're gonna install it, do it as if you had to use it. And if you're the homeowner using it, do it as if you want it to last forever. We hope this video has been informative for you in understanding on-site wastewater treatment system regulations, installation, components, and the importance of regular maintenance. It's also important to work with your county health department to locate important records and to identify qualified installers and pumpers.